In the previous lesson, we learned how to draw hyperbolas. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to find the equation when they give us certain information. So just remember, we get two main types of hyperbolas. We get a horizontal and we get a vertical. In a horizontal, the formula goes like this, x minus h over a minus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to one. And if it's, and, and horizontal looks like this, where this is the center, h, k, the distance from the center to the vertex, you can go left or right, is the value a, and then the distance from the center to the foci, there's two foci over here and over here, but I'm just showing you this one, um, but you can think of both of them. Um, so this length is c. Then if it's vertical, we use y first, so that goes with k now, but then there's a squared. It's always a at the front, okay? And then x minus h squared over b squared is equal to one. So it's always gonna be a in the front, but then depending on what's in the front, if it's x, then it's horizontal. If it's a y in the front, then it's vertical. So that's gonna look like this. Okay, and so here would be our center, which is at h and k, and then the distance to the vertex is what we call a, and then the distance from the center to the focus is, and of course there's two foci, but I'm just showing you the one, that length is c. Okay, so those are the basics that I taught in the previous lesson, which we do need to know for this lesson. So let's do our first example. So in this example, they give us the vertex and the foci. So I would go draw that out. So the vertex is at six and zero, which is here, and then minus six and zero. Okay, so straight away, because the vertex is on the x-axis, um, or it's horizontal, we know that this is gonna be a horizontal hyperbola, so something like that. We don't need to draw it, but I'm just showing you extra information. Then the foci is at eight and zero. So this is at six and zero. This is at eight and zero. And this one here would be at negative eight. So we know that it's a horizontal, so we're gonna start our equation with x first. Now, we can see that if this is at negative six, zero, and this is at six, zero, then the center is exactly at zero, zero. So h and k will both be equal to zero, okay? Now a is the length from the center to the vertex, so that's gonna have a length of six. c, c, well, let's first say yeah, that a is six. C is the length from the center to one of the foci, so that's gonna be eight. We could then use the equation b, uh, sorry, uh, the foci equation, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, and so we know that c is eight, so we can say eight squared, a is six, like that. So we can say 64 is equal to 36 plus b squared. If we then had to go get b by itself, you would say 64 minus 36, and that is 28. And so we could just fill that in. So now we technically have everything we need. So h is zero, so we can just say x squared over 36, because a is six, so six squared is 36, and then minus y squared over 28 equals to one. Here's our next one, so let's quickly go draw it out. So this one has a vertex at negative one, two, and then negative one, negative two. Ah, so this is a vertical hyperbola. So it would look something like that. Now the center is also gonna be right in the middle over there. So this is negative one, two. This is negative one, negative two. So the center would be directly in the middle on the x-axis, so it would be negative one, zero. So the center would be negative one, zero. So that means that h is negative one and k is zero. Let's go write out the equation. So because this one's vertical, it must start with the y. The a always goes with the first one for a hyperbola. Now, the distance from the center to the vertex, that's a. So that would have a length of two, so a is two. The distance from the center to the foci, which I haven't even plotted yet, let's go plot these quickly, negative one and three, negative one, negative three. So the distance from the 
center to the foci, that length is 3. So that means C is 3. So C is 3. We could then use the foci equation to find B because we can say 3 squared is equal to 2 squared plus B squared. So 9 is equal to 4 plus B squared. So that means B squared is 9 minus 4, which is 5. So from that, we could fill everything in. So K is 0. A is 2, so that would be 2 squared, which is 4. H is negative 1. B squared is 5. And then you would need to change this negative negative into a positive. And then the next thing, we could just take away this minus 0, because that doesn't do anything. And so there we go. Let's do one more example. So let's go draw this out just to see if it's horizontal or vertical. So the vertex is at 0, negative 2, and 6, negative 2. So 6, negative 2 would be over here. So this is a horizontal. So it would go like that and like that. Now the center would be directly between those two. So you might have to just pause and think about that, but that coordinate would be 3 and negative 2 because this is 0, this is 6. Halfway between that is 3. The foci would be at negative 2, negative 2. So negative 2, negative 2, which is there, and then 8, negative 2. So negative 2, negative 2, and then 8. Whoops, running out of space. And that's for that point over there. Okay, so let's go write out the, the equation. So because it's horizontal, you start with x. a squared always goes with the first one for a hyperbola. So let's find the center. We already have the center, so h is 3, k is negative 2. a is the length from the center to the vertex. So that would have a length of, let's use this one. So this vertex is at 0, negative 2, so that length is 3. C is from the center to the foci. So that goes from 3 to negative 2, so that's a length of 5. So C is 5. We can then use the vertex, I mean the foci equation to find uh, C, or to find B, sorry. So this is going to be 5 squared. A is 3. So you're going to say 25 is equal to 9 plus B squared. So that means B squared will be 16. And so we have everything we need because h is 3, a is 9, or a squared is 9. Um, this is going to be y take away negative 2. B, is six, b squared is 16, and then we can just change this to positive. And there's our final answer.